What's going on there, folks? Good Saturday evening. It is Earthmaster here on the live stream. July 10th, 2021 to date, about 8.22 p.m. California time here, where it hit, uh, I think it hit about 114 degrees here where I live. It's pretty hot. Uh, another warm day tomorrow. A 4.5 earthquake striking the Japan region. Latest quake on the globe and a couple little series of earthquakes there off the coast of Japan. Some deeper movement as well to the southeast with that 4.2 uh, striking the region at uh, 490 kilometers uh, below the surface. Some pretty deep movement there uh, with that earthquake activity around uh, Japan. Uh, checking out, ooh, that one got a little crazy right there. Let's see if we can readjust that here. That's kind of a, a little modified one. There we go. That'll work much better. Don't need a magnifying glass on the uh, map, right? A little bit of earthquake activity taking place off the coast of Oregon, near the Blanco Fracture Zone, kind of north of the Gorda Ridges there at that bend. A 4.1 earthquake striking out in the Pacific at about 10 kilometers for default uh, depth there. 2.9 also, a little deeper earthquake off the coast of Eureka at the southern end of the Cascadia Subduction Zone. Uh, looking at earthquake activity into um, the eastern Sierra Nevada, Walker Lane area, Antelope Valley. Aftershock activity continues today. Not a whole lot. Of course, this is 2.5 and above. Let's go ahead and check out all magnitudes because I believe all magnitudes uh, definitely matter. A much broader uh, range of uh, quakes here with 162 earthquakes over the last 24 hours. Uh, since that six-pointer hit uh, a couple days now ago. I don't see any uh, significant large earthquakes. In fact, I still think we stand as a uh, 5.2 for the aftershock. And then a couple fours. That's, that's about it for uh, large aftershock activity. Uh, but nonetheless, we're seeing uh, continued aftershock uh, quakes there, which could con continue for quite some time. Of course, the Ridge, Ridge Crest earthquakes uh, down here in the south, it's been over two years and they're still continuing. Um, so this could continue, who knows, for you know months at a time. I'll just have to keep an eye on that. Some movement around the Long Valley supervolcano caldera as well. Nothing major, just a couple small microquakes. And a little recent quake out here in the desert, Goldfield, Nevada, seeing a 2.4 somewhat deep movement, 16 kilometers. Uh, as far as Ridgecrest activity goes, just a few small microquakes throughout that fracture zone there where it ruptured uh, two years ago. And uh, Southern Cal looking pretty quiet. No swarming really to talk about uh, at the moment. There's a cluster of quakes over here south of San Francisco, south of San Jose, Pacific side, and the North American side of the plate boundary of the San Andreas Fault. Uh, nothing big, just a couple twos kicking off there and some smaller microquakes. Uh, what else we got here? Pacific Northwest seeing uh, some movement, not a whole lot. Got this little 2.1 near Mossy Rock, Washington, and a small one south of Mount Saint or uh, uh, southeast of Mount Saint Helens. There, a little microquake. Other than that, I don't see any uh, significant movement up there in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, there was some activity. Uh, let's go ahead and open up another tab here at Yellowstone National Park. A little swarming take play, uh, took place earlier today. You can see all this microquake activity kind of looking crazy for a little bit. But since then, it has died down. You see over the last few hours, not a whole lot of movement, but for a while it was kind of, kind of uh, interesting activity. And definitely a good handful of quakes here in this, uh, on this map alone. USGS not really picking up on that activity yet. Uh, sometimes they're pretty quick, sometimes they're just days behind. Uh, this may be one of those uh, days behind events. This map a little bit uh, tuned up more to pick up some shallow or uh, to pick up uh, sensitive movements. But you can see over here towards Maple Creek uh, and other areas that, that um, these maps also picked up on it. Some of the larger quakes, not large, but you know these are still pretty small, but uh, larger in that sequence of quakes that I showed you on the other seismograph. Um, so definitely earthquake activity taking place 
at Yellowstone National Park earlier today. Today, I mean, uh, within the last few hours, things definitely calming down. Uh, Oklahoma, Texas, kind of kind of quiet. Doesn't look like a whole lot going on there through Oklahoma or Texas at the moment. New Madrid fault system in areas east, pretty quiet as well. Puerto Rico dwindling down in its seismic activity, although watching that four-pointer right smack dab on the Puerto Rico trench area um, at ten kilom or uh, seven kilometers for that earthquake. A little bit uh, bigger one, 4.5. Uh, near Barbados, 32 kilometers. South America relatively quiet as well. We've been watching an increase in activity. Pacific or uh, northwestern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, cluster of quakes in the Indonesia region, uh, but also up here in the Aleutian Islands. Uh, had a 5.3 and a 5.1 over the last 24 hours, right smack dab uh, next to each other. And uh, also some movement over here towards the... Uh, uh, T Tajikistan area, we're yeah, somewhere around there. Quite a quite a few forests kicking up in the cluster of quakes in this region. Uh, other than that, folks, not a whole lot going on. Trimmer map, I haven't checked that this evening. Uh, just been trying to stay cool, man. It's been unbelievably hot. Let's see if we can access the trimmer. Um, maybe. That's kind of strange for it to just be sitting there spinning it's not the internet because the internet's working fine it's the trimmer map okay that's kind of odd uh, zero trimmer zero epicenters being reported uh, today in the Cascadia subduction zone so a quiet day not uncommon they get quiet days and they get uh, some pretty active days as well all right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Have a, yourself a beautiful Saturday evening. Um, stream is up and running. I swapped out some equipment. We were having some issues today. In fact, I don't even know how many people are going to get the notification on this video uh, because I've probably put out three notifications already today messing with the live stream. But uh, we're pretty solid right now. Everything's looking smooth as a bell for 4K uh, in the update depart in the... Uh, live stream department so gonna hope that this stays consistent and uh, we'll go from there have a good day have a good night peace out with we'll chat you sometime tomorrow have a good night peace